Every year, the Stimson Center hosts a gala that celebrates our work, that features people that we want to honor in our field who are working on related topics, and to demonstrate a partnership with one of the uh, countries of the diplomatic world with which we have had some collaboration. This year, we are so pleased to be partnering with the government of Finland and celebrating the work that we do that looks at international security as it relates to two things, both economic development and to the role of the private sector. So we are building bridges in two directions. We are illuminating how the real enduring achievements in international security, particularly in countries of the global south, require us to take into account their national development goals as well as their security requirements. The Managing Across Boundaries work led by Brian Findlay uh, and supported by the government of Finland since 2007 is a great example of collaboration both across substantive uh, communities and between uh, in a, a country that has a very dynamic foreign policy and our think tank. We're equally interested in the evolving role of the private sector in addressing problems of international security, since problems like uh, trafficking in small arms, uh, drugs, the spread of, of drugs, illicit trafficking of various goods and people really happens on through channels and mechanisms that are also legitimate business channels and platforms such as international shipping. And the Managing Across Boundaries Initiative at Stimson has been engaging in very uh, serious and, cr and innovative conversation with uh, leaders of industry in refining our understanding of their role and in helping them uh, identify smart ways that they can engage with government in pursuit of overlapping but not always identical interests and objectives. The Managing Across Boundaries Initiative was founded on three contending presumptions. First and foremost is the realization that a growing proportion of transnational security challenges are increasingly converging and negatively impacting growth and development around the world. Drug traffickers are increasingly becoming human traffickers. Those that produce and smuggle counterfeit t-shirts are funneling their proceeds to support global terrorist operations and so forth. Second presumption is that these forces are negatively affecting the developing world in a disproportionate way. And therefore, we need to identify innovative partnerships with countries of the global south to systematically address these converging threats. And finally, we also recognize that solutions to these problems are no longer governments alone, that increasingly private sector companies across multinational and even local firms are integral to addressing transnational security challenges in a systematic way. We are extremely pleased that our work is being featured as part of Stimson's annual event this year at the Finnish Embassy. Our honorees are indeed the poster children of our work around the globe. This year we're happy to honor Admiral James DeVrides, who is currently the Dean of the Fletcher School of Law and Diplomacy at Tufts University and has recently retired from a distinguished career in the military. He was deeply respected by his colleagues across the government and in foreign countries for his openness to looking at America's military presence as it relates to a broader, more holistic approach to America's engagement in the world. He was always interested in questions of economic development, in ways of engaging with populations, uh, in civilian populations, on a broader set of issues. And we really are honoring his insights and his own contribution to better understanding of these, of public-private partnerships and of the relationship between security and development. We're also honoring the Nokia company, uh, as you know, a well-known Finnish company of cell phone technology and cell phone devices that has partnered with the World Bank and others to use cell phone technology as a, an enabling tool of development in, in the developing world. As we know, many countries leapfrog over traditional communications technologies and go directly to cell phones with all of their applications for both communication and economic uh, data sharing and even the transfer of funds. And Nokia has been a pioneer in this work. We are really delighted to be honoring 
both Admiral Stavridis and the Nokia Corporation for their important contributions to international peace and security.